<laughs> Hello everyone, this is any 9889 from i4iPhones and I'm uh, on video here today to actually showcase on the videos 3.0 and uh, so here we go um, we, as you can see the icon is different so and the loading screen and whatnot so as soon as you start up on the videos I hope you can see that there's a lot of changes um, first I have managed to customize the navigation bar and the tab bar so that they're uh, quite a bit skinnier than before which allowed me to uh, give you a lot more um, browsing real estate now also you will uh, notice that we do still have the ads at the top that you um, should close or can close and um, I just hope everyone can understand that no one here at i for iPhones um, is rid rid by any means and we do have to pay for the service space and um, it costs a lot of money so and and we do know that times are tough right now so donations are hard to come by but um, clicking one or two of these ads really helps us out and um, and I, I I hope that it's not too much trouble and that's why I've actually worked on making everything else a little bit um, more slimmer so that you have more space and the ads don't affect the user experience as much now to get on with the actual app um, as you can see here um, there's been a couple of changes um, in terms of navigation. The the more obvious changes are these two buttons, bottom left and uh, bottom right. So the bottom right button simply brings up this uh, simple ticker that you might have seen if you have the iPad version of the app, and this will just you know let you know of news and things like that, which will be we will be updating regularly. Now. The bottom left here, um, this but uh, this button allows you to bring up a menu, which um, with which you can navigate through some of the categories. For example, this first one's movies, TV, um, anime, and then music. So if you click TV, you'll be taken to your TV section. Now let's say I want to watch some South Park today or download some South Park. Um, we open up South Park here and to download I just simply click download now this will take me to my um, download section and then as before I can do enter the capture here and then download file of course you have to uh, if you have a premium account that'll work as well you can just directly download now while we're waiting for that let me show you uh, some other things that have changed uh, we have also uh, included this sites section again and in the future I'll be adding more sites as people request their sites to be added but also I'll be adding sort of a rating um, system so you can rate the the sites by stars and whatnot here is where you're gonna see your transfers and over here is where you see your downloads now I have removed the rename function for now I'll add it back um, but I'd like to find a, a nice way to do it now when you press on a document you can either play it on the iPhone play it on TV just as before or you can you know simply click cancel but now also to delete a file you can just swipe and that file is deleted furthermore I've added a little section for settings so for right now we only have these settings which are you can choose your home page you know so maybe I want to I like watching a lot of TV, so I set TV as my home page. And you can have the uh, the ticker automatically show up when you first start the app. We've also added the option to change where your media files are downloaded. And I know a lot of you ask questions about, you know, where are my files downloaded? Where can I find them with other apps? So here you'll have control of that. And I just want people to keep in mind that if you're going to be changing these settings, they will take effect the next time you start up the app. Um, I can make it so that they take effect within app, but that could get messy, so just try to keep things as simple as possible. Now, I'm guessing this is done. Yep. So we click regular download here, and you'll see the option to download. So click download, and there we have it. We have the download starting. 
Uh, download is the same thing as the file manager. If you want to quit, you just swipe and delete. Simple. Now, of course, online videos would be nothing if we didn't have the direct streaming. So you can click on next gen vids here for an episode. And now, as some of you might have noticed, we've actually uh, next gen vids has actually changed a little bit, and instead of a pop up, uh, and I, f I didn't mention that you can actually collapse this menu again so you get more space. Instead of a pop up, you'll see this uh, thumbnail with a play button through it, and uh, once you click that on most videos, once you click that, you get three options. You can either download, and I will. I'm contemplating on whether or not I should add the download with uh, Safari Download Manager, which I might do but you can download um, and of course that goes into your transfers here and the download manager has completely been reworked so it should work much better than the previous one or you can play on the iPhone or play on TV so I'm just gonna click play here and again we do have these ads show up so um, whenever you get a chance please try to help us out if you can if not that's fine we understand um, that as well just you know our first concern is for you to enjoy the app and then other than that I guess we'll have to take care of things so anyways this will play as normal but I have really um, bad internet here so things don't really work the way they're supposed to um, anyways that'll play and whatnot um, besides that I think for right now that's all the changes uh, on them videos uh, will continue to ha get improvements as I figure out what people like what they don't like and with that note um, you see here we next gen vids has this um, comment place you can please comment on the videos if they're not working uh, you know with your Facebook account comment say you know this video just is not supported on my iPhone or whatnot and we'll uh, try to fix that in addition if you have any other issues of course the forum has been set up to help you out so um, contact anyone on the forum, especially people like Cracks, um, who has, I think, what, 1,800 posts on the forum, so he's probably one of the, or the most active member on the forum, so if you need any help, there's, there's people who can help you out, so just, uh, give them a PM, or you can either email me directly, um, and you can find my email on Cydia, so... That's about it, guys, and I hope you enjoy the new app. If you, as I said, have any concerns, suggestions, or whatnot, just contact us, and uh, we'll do our best to get back to you and fix the problems.